My name is John Ray Carlin. I'm here with Mr. Stack, and uh, he's going to talk a little bit uh, about his experiences of 9-11 uh, because he was living in New York and was there that day. So, well, Thanks, uh, John, for you know asking me to be here this morning and, and, and to talk about 9-11. Uh, um, you know, just uh, my personal experience there. Uh, I was living in New York at the time. I was working in book publishing. Uh, I went into work that morning. I worked in the marketing department for uh, our book publisher, and we typically had the TVs on in the morning because our authors would be on television and we'd want to catch that. And so we had the TVs on. We were there. We saw the news you know, break in uh, on the TV news that morning. And then, like many people, watched the second plane you know, hit live on television. Um, changed everything at that point. Um, my offices were in Midtown, um, but you could, you know, just step out and look out the window now and look downtown and see the smoke. Um, and as you can imagine, it was, uh, everybody was in shock. Uh, it was uh, the day itself or the morning itself kind of became this really chaotic blur. My instincts were to call, um, uh, my wife, uh, who was uh, teaching in Harlem, so again, she was uptown. I knew she was safe from the attacks, but the cell phone towers were down and we couldn't, um, you know, reach anybody by cell phone. Uh, my brother was in D.C. I was trying to reach him. And same same story, couldn't uh, because of the other attacks there. Um, so there was a lot of fear and concern and just um, that kind of insecurity in, in the moment. Um, because I don't remember much about, you know, when, but we decided to try to make it home. The subways weren't running. Um, I, I walked from, I lived in Brooklyn at the time. I walked from 59th Street uh, down the streets with, you know, thousands of others past the, um, the World Trade Center site. Um, walked across the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, <clears throat> Back. And it was only then when I got home that I was able to connect with my wife and, and, and my friends. And, um, you know, the, that part, that much was a, was a blur. It was just, it was, it was terrible. Um, the, I guess for, I mean, weeks, months after you had the, um, the, the smoke and the debris, um, much of it landing in Brooklyn, um, across the river. And so, um, you know, the thing that I brought to show today uh, is something that just came from the skies and landed on the stoop of my um, apartment. And I'll, I'll share that in a minute. But um, it was my, my Brooklyn neighborhood uh, were the first responders. That's where many of the fire men and women um, lived uh, and they were the first to be able to get to the uh, to the site and so um, many of those families in my neighborhood were first responder families and have lost loved ones many of um, you know the neighborhood folks that worked in that big you know office tower so we had uh, the signs of the missing people all over the subway stations and everybody just really trying to find one another and, and know that they were safe just like in the moments of the first um, Attack. So it was it was a devastating experience. I mean, it, it, I think everybody was kind of in a state of shock. But then over time, um, you know, subway started running again. The cell phones started going again. We started going back to work. New Yorkers, uh, the world, really, you know, um, kind of kept moving. Um, eventually, the the smoke stopped. Eventually, we had the you know the memorial lights that would shine for months um you know and eventually we had they rebuilt i stayed in new york for a long long time after that um and you know the memorial that they have there now in the museums and such they're very moving um but it was a devastating moment in in history and it and just i just happened to be there um and the thing that i i guess i should when i show my students sometime uh, is this. Um, this was a, as I said, 
things floated through the air and, and this landed in my yard and, and you can probably see it's a, um, an Excel spreadsheet that has been singed. And um, I don't know why at the time I picked that up and I thought to hold on to that from that day, but um, I think just something about this work that was interrupted, these numbers that, you know, are kind of now meaningless but you know that was somebody's payroll and somebody's job for the day and that's probably and somebody's life that was maybe you know interrupted and i don't know just kind of reminds me of how fragile life is and and uh so i i kind of you know I, i've held on to this now for you know more than 20 years and on these anniversaries i often you know think back on it uh something i wonder is you said like immediately following the attacks like cell phone towers were down subways were down and you said that they eventually opened back up how long was like that window for stuff to reopen and like people in uh, eventually getting back to work like how long did all that take i i really couldn't say i mean I, I that that's not something that registered i know that um you know the cell phones were back up within the day or so people start, some people were back to work. I, I think I was back at work the next day. Um, it's, and you know, your life kind of moves on, but you can't forget it. The, the, you know, as I said, for, you know, a year, uh, the, the kind of gaping hole in the, in the city was, was really difficult to, you know, avoid and, and ignore. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, some of the details that do, do blur, um, so I obviously don't really understand like the layout of New York, Brooklyn area, like how far away from the World Trade Centers were you living in uh, your office? Manhattan is a long uh, island and um, I was working in Midtown, which is 59th Street um, and the World Trade Centers are at the bottom. So about 60 blocks, uh, a little bit more from the site of the attacks. I think my wife was working in Harlem, which is, you know, 120 uh, streets, so very high notes. So we were very far from the the, the World Trade Center itself. Um, Brooklyn was south of that, which is where I was living, but I lived at the point closest to, um, you know, the tip of the island and, and where the, the towers went down, which is why so many of the, the firefighters that first responded were in my neighborhood. And um, so, so that's kind of the geography of, of that, yeah. I don't have anything particularly profound that I think I could, you know, say about that that day. Um, I thought the the words on the, the prayer on Friday morning, um, you know, captured that idea of just, you know, respect and, and and for each other and being able to live without kind of fear. Um, uh, I think those are important thoughts to, to to share, and so I appreciated that. And I appreciate you having me yeah. to, to come share my story uh, with everyone.